back in the yard. Time to fix these issues on these cheap Chinese AGT attachments. What a joke. Now I realize why they call them Chinese stars. I never knew what really Chinese stars were until you bought one of these. And you see these blades flying through the sky. Boy, they're dangerous. You want to see the setup. I mean, this is, I've already went through 400 in blades. I'm down to one spare. I, you, you lose them every time. Um, and these are grade eight bolts, but it looks like the washer failed and then they, they come out. But these are the ones I put on. They give you grade, grade five. Let me see if I can find some. And this here, oh, the pin broke here. So basically this pin goes up, it ain't a big deal, but that's the top of it. So I'm gonna weld the washer on that, then weld that to the bottom, that goes up through. I mean, realistically, if it breaks again, a better way is just get rid of this bolt, let it spin in there, because that's what, if this is stationary, and then it could shear it. So if this is allows it to spin, if it has to, you know what I mean? There's no reason to have that fixed like that because now i'm worried about these so basically the weld broke like that the other thing with this this has been working good but these are bent i have no clue i haven't even looked at that which one's bent but they're, they don't line up i don't know even how that's possible you could bend that inch and a half plate i mean obviously those rams are strong but i would almost think it's bent over here and tipping the whole ram down and this isn't bent i don't know hard to hard to say there too um but whatever i mean they, they set you up to fail that's the only reason i can't stand this for the little extra effort it would take for agt top cat to put better hardware don't give grade five bolts don't give crappy pins uh, especially, you know what I mean? Especially in this part. This is grabbing the tree. I was cutting down trees near power lines. If that had let go, it was the tree before that. If it had let go, it would have went right into the power line. So, very kind of annoyed with that. Very annoyed. And like I said, first day using it and you already got this bent? Come on. Alright, so I got this up in the air. See what I got here? That washer probably failed. These were grade eight. I could have doubled those washers up, but you really shouldn't have to. I've already had bolts shear. Now the ones they give you, the ones that, and if you don't leave them loose like this, um, what happens is it gets packed in there with debris and then they end up break, shearing, stretching the bolts and shearing them. But uh, you see how they ride on here? Like that's your shoulder. Look at that shoulder, how it's wore right out. So my theory now, what I'm doing after spending $600 later, cutting this shoulder out, because theoretically, if it was this was Americanized, you'd have a regular shoulder bolt for a brush hog. Everybody knows what a brush hog has a huge mushroom head and then has a, a shoulder that the blade rides on, but they built it into here and it's too small anyways. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting this out and I got grade eight bolts, the size of this shoulder head to go right through. We'll see how that works. And if that does, if fails, I'm going to destroy this thing. I'll just smash it up. There's a blade for reference. It's supposed to be AR400. Snapped. I know that was a lot of info, but I, you know, had to get it out. So, like I said, these are already grade 8 that I put on. The ones that come on there are grade 5, 5 8 bolts with carriage, one carriage nut with a cotter pin through it that is eighth inch cotter pin. I mean, set up to, I don't even understand. It won't even cut a piece of straw without them. You just have those things flying by themselves and they fly out. Ask Diesel Creek, he had one. He bought one from an auction, same thing. Didn't even hit nothing and his blades went flying off. And like I said, you can't find them. They just go and I don't know where they go. Thank <laughs> you. 
now that those are off, I gotta get these out. And I can't get in there with my seven inch grinder. I was hoping to. Cause these, what they got, look at this crap. But uh, that weld has gotta get cut off then I can punch that out. And another thing is when they welded this, they bent this plate because they put heat into this corner, which makes this thing out of balance. And I complained about that, this and that. Had all those blades come off. They finally sent me stuff from Hong Kong or wherever it comes. And uh, they charged me $600. They gave me a, they said, oh, we got a whole brand new system. They gave me the same exact blades and this brand new plate, which is over there. But it, I put a, a level on it to range it and it's bent too and everything else so they charged me 600 to get the same old crap and like i said you anybody that has this tries to get customer service good luck not gonna happen and and you know the guys that sold sell these are good guys but you know they're they're they got their hands tied come back and hit me right there i saw it coming i jacked my it would have took my teeth out my glasses were <laughs> ah! That's about it, man. It's got to be that loose, I'm telling you. That's about how it was. I'm going to count the threads. I ain't even going to cut those off. They look pretty good up there. What am I going to do? Can't even get in there with the grinder. That breaks. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's loose. But I think that's where it's got to be.
That's how the other ones were. And they were anything tighter. They got so packed with sticks and leaves and or uh, sticks and uh, you know all the grass and stuff. And I think that's what broke that other blade. I got one more to beat out. It's already cooling off. this thing assembled but I mean it is warped this is bent I'm gonna I don't know that's bent more because I put heat to it or what or beat it with a hammer to try to bend this down while it's hot oh boy Ugh. yeah right all these are if I don't know if the camera's picking that up but all these tail up and even the new one they sent me is like that. But I know that's why this thing's got a shimmy shake rattle. What are you gonna do? Nothing. They bend, this bends when you uh, just, just hitting crap, you know? Hitting stumps. All right, I went a little tighter with it. Just a little bit. I think we'll, we'll uh, I mean, I could weld those washers to that head, too, but, again, I mean, how much can you really, I don't know if that's good or not, or you want them to move. We'll just have to test and tune, but I'll get all four on, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to say that's as fixed as it ever was. They're all on. They're all loose as a goose, the way I think they should be, um, and we'll test it. If it needs to go tighter, I can make them tighter, but... I don't know. You guys let me know how your cutters work, but I know when you when you tip them up, they should all fold down like that. And if they're any tighter, they don't because of the grass. So I know I've said that 16 times in this video, but uh, I already tested and tuned this thing many times. Broke many blades, or not broke many blades, broke one blade, but uh, lost five others. All right, on to the other AGD crap attachment. All right, so let's get this off. And like I said, this should, this, instead of putting that in there, let this spin, right? If that spins, okay, the whole unit spins, okay? The minute you lock this down, it can't spin and it wants to break. So that's the head that broke there. I'll weld the washer on. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. I mean, I could just grind that down and re-weld it. You can see the, the weld. Well, I'll show you when I get that, but it was, uh, wasn't welded that good, let's just put it that way. Hopefully the other ones aren't as bad. Well, I found one good thing that this thing's good for, a vise. Let's leave that in there. Put it on this side though, over here. And grind that weld off. Oh, come on now. touch it because she's hot all right we'll clean that up get her down in there re-weld it hang on we ain't done I'm gonna punch that through with a punch because it is inside there and I can't get it unless I torch it so we'll just punch it out She's 
these out. I'm glad they gave me the vice, though. That's one plus. I'll give them that. There. Perfect. Clean that up a little more. And we're good to go. I mean, like I said, this bolt really stinks locking it in like that. You don't need to. That's what broke it. But um, it shouldn't break anyways. But now if you do, I don't know. Sometimes I weld washers on there and just let them spin. Pretty good. I'll get a good weld on that now. That's gonna work good. They didn't have no weld on the inside, and it doesn't. That ain't gonna hold it high because it goes down in a hole. So it will work, and that's all good. So good to go. All right, because I had the welder out and everything, I decided to take the other side of that ram off. And there's a, a, a weld that's gonna be failing right there. You see the hole in it, and they didn't weld the inside either. So we'll take care of this one, and uh, we'll look at all the other ones also. All better. Alright, this was the one that did break. Hot still. Hot outside the oven. We're gonna rotate you. Oh, come on, don't tell me this don't. What's going on here? How did that get shorter? Oh, there she goes. Come on. Now I really don't like that system because now if that comes loose the pin drops out before I was like ah, eh, the pin still won't drop out but now it will come on oh, get in there there you go there you go buddy yeah if that bolt comes loose then you lose the pin at the bottom at least the other side the pins on top whatever Make sure everything's tight all the time before you work, I guess, and check it at lunch. <laughs> That's about it. All right, we're back together. Still don't know why this is bent, though. Really not going to pay too much attention to that until that breaks, but I don't see how the heck that is bent. That is some thick 
hmm, it's almost like, but if you, I, I eyeballed it when it's on the machine, everything ranges. It's just the front tips. That's, uh, bad. I just don't, can't believe that that would bend. I'll have to do more investigation on that. But that does affect the shear because what happens is when that shear hits like this, it, it snaps the tree. It's good. But if it comes up on top, it, uh, you know, it's not cutting it clean. It has to break it like a notch. And it's not good when you are got it way above your head and you got to pull on it. All right, we're all back together. Everything's back together. China is coming back together. So let me just show you this. Now, this is all supposed to be a four, AR400 reinforced. Now, if anybody follows me on TikTok, they've seen this video. It's got like 400,000 views. Look how bowed this is, right? I lost one blade, and I was like, I come out, and I was like, well, what the hell is this hole? A, a blade come through there and out. I couldn't believe it. That's how much force it was, and the other three... We're going like Chinese stars across the, the nation. It was insane. I mean, these things are dangerous. I mean, look, this is one blade. It bounced off of there on the inside. The only, I mean, the paint's good on it. I'll give them that. They, they got some good paint. It's like almost powder coated. But let me tell you, them two uh, AGT attachments, you know, prepare to work on them. You could Americanize them and get them to work, but... Uh, I suggest 100% start working on it as soon as you get it. Don't even take a chance. It's not worth it.
of being 10 foot up on that that you go to where you can snip you know what i mean then you lower it down and if a tree's super tall then you know it's it will manage a little bit better this tree fell out from my arms because it was leaning already my arms didn't grab it but that was fine you could snip and push over too because some shears don't even have the arms so i mean it's a good attachment but let's go over what i did to it like i said this is this is the thing what i what, I, what i'm saying this is my own personal lot if i was in the logging industry i wouldn't have agt i'd have top stuff that's gonna last you know what i mean so this is just my personal farm use i bought it and i bought this attachment to make videos you know what i mean to to show something different to make content and you know hopefully you guys are liking it but um you know in a typical world when i clear a lot for for in the business you know i, I push over the trees with the stump and then i cut the stump off it's a lot faster now i gotta go back and restump this but this lot was only 80 feet wide it's super tight in here and there was a, a, a million of these four to six inch trees you can't get in there and swing around you get into a hornet's nest real quick so this was uh the easiest way i could do it i mean only got a day and a half in this thing and you know the whole front section's cleared and these bigger trees you know we're going to take down as soon as i get the 160 back with the ripper we'll dig around them and push them over a lot of firewood and this stuff so i figure on this you know this is my property line this this tree the trees are actually back the property lines this fence post here so after I get this cut down, because I got to drop this, you know, 15 feet to get off that cliff, I'm going to plant some nice red maples through here. It would look really sharp up on the top line. So this stuff, going to have to burn it. I'm going to load it in the busa, get it out of here. And uh, yeah, but this video was on fixing this. Uh, the, the This over here, definitely going to work. I mean, I didn't I didn't test it yet. But uh, I'll show you a comparison here. There's the bolt that come off of it. Leo, where are you? Well, let's get you down there. Okay. And there's, <laughs> I mean, not even comparison, you know? Look at So that should definitely work too. Uh, again, you shouldn't have to do that kind of stuff. So moral of the story, AGT, not for me. I swear to God, these Chinese stars that they uh, have, these boomerangs, they shoot out. You can never find them. And I think they go right back over to China and then they repaint them and send them back to us. But that's that, guys. Uh, for, you know, business, I wouldn't buy them. But personal use, this and that, stuff around the farm, really light duty. You could pick them up and you can pick them up cheap at auctions. But again, change, do the change I did right off the bat. Don't even attempt it because those things come right through the cab. And the same thing with this, you know, definitely reinforce the plate here and the bottom where it hooks in. I put a whole new plate right over that plate because that shears. And uh, then that will keep, because otherwise this will twist right up on you.